Hello, and welcome back to Road Trivia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 753. This will be a Saturday night at the movies. However, instead of going with one specific movie, we're going to do general movie knowledge. I'll ask 21 different questions. You'll tell me what movie we're talking about. This can include any type of movie, but every answer will be the title of a movie, not a question inside the movie. So, good luck on today's quiz. Question 1. What was the title of the 2019 Netflix movie that served as the feature film closure to AMC's popular television series that followed Walter White, a suburban family man turned drug dealer? The show was Breaking Bad. The movie was El Camino. Question 2. Starring John Belushi, in what 1978 comedy movie do the members of Delta Tau Chai spend all semester on double secret probation and trying to avoid expulsion from Faber College? That movie is Animal House. Question number three. Based on the 1983 novel by Stephen King with the same title, what was the name of the John Carpenter movie that came out the same year and featured a possessed 1958 Plymouth Fury? The answer is Christine. Question number four. Brett Favre had a cameo as himself in what 1998 Farrelly Brothers film as an ex-boyfriend of Cameron Diaz's character who says that they would never work out because she was a 49ers fan. The answer is, there's something about Mary. Question number five. In what 1991 movie do Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter's characters finally win their freedom from hell by defeating the Grim Reaper in a high pressure game of Battleship? The answer is Bill and Ted's Bogus Adventure. Question number six. Taking over the criminal underworld to become two of London's most dreaded gangsters, Tom Hardy starred as both twins, Reginald and Ronald Cray, in what 2015 movie? The answer is legend. Question number seven. Based on a novel by Jules Verne, what David Niven and Kenteen Fluss movie about Phileas Fogg won the Oscar for Best Picture in 1956 and then was remade in 2004 with Steve Coogan and Jackie Chan? Phileas Fogg was the main guy in Around the World in 80 Days. Question number eight. Former UN employee Jerry Lane, played by Brad Pitt, travels around the world in a race against time to stop the modern zombie apocalypse in what 2013 American action horror movie?
that movie was World War Z. Question 9. Which 1962 epic film starring Peter O'Toole, whose character is based on a real historical character, was the only non-silent film to have won the Oscar for Best Picture without a single female speaking role? The answer is Lawrence of Arabia. Question number 10. Making it to the Hot 100 on Billboard, the 1983 music single Holiday Road by Lindsey Buckingham was written for what Chevy Chase movie and then used in three of its sequels? That song was originally written for National Lampoon's Vacation. Question 11. Based on the trilogy of novels by the American author Suzanne Collins, which science fiction dystopian adventure movie series features a leading character called Katniss Everdeen? The answer is The Hunger Games. Question number 12. Hulk Hogan was 28 years old when he starred as Thunderlips, the current world wrestling champion who fights Rocky Balboa in a charity event in what 1982 action sports movie? Hulk Hogan was in Rocky III. Question 13. Though not the first chronologically in the story's timeline, which Marvel Comic Universe movie was released first in May of 2008 and began the films of Phase 1 of the MCU? The answer is Iron Man. Question 14. What 1998 comedy movie starring Chris Farley and Matthew Perry is about a fictional group's doomed effort to reach the Pacific Ocean before the Lewis and Clark expedition does? The answer is Almost Heroes. Question 15. Also the title of one of his hit songs, the soundtrack to what Prince movie from the 1980s won an Oscar and a Grammy and then sold more copies than any other soundtrack that decade? The answer is Purple Rain. Question 16. Elvis Presley starred in what 1964 movie about the City of Lights in which he loses his money after being pushed into the casino swimming pool and must work for the hotel to pay off his debts? That movie was Viva Las Vegas. Question 17. The film was the second to win all five major Academy Awards, including Best Picture. 
What 1976 movie starred Jack Nicholson as Randall McMurphy, a new patient at a mental institution? That movie was One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Question 18. After a series of visions and voices, Ray Kinsella, played by Kevin Costner, builds a beautiful, full-size baseball field in his cornfield for the outfielder Shoeless Joe Jackson in what 1989 movie? The answer is The Field of Dreams. Question 19. Peter Weller played Alex Murphy, a terminally injured policeman who is transformed into a cybernetically enhanced Detroit Police Department officer in which 1987 American science fiction action film? The movie was RoboCop. And question 20. In what 2013 movie, loosely based on the short story by James Thurber, does Ben Stiller play a negative assets manager at Life Magazine who daydreams of adventures and has a crush on a co-worker? One of my favorite movies, The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. Make sure you check back tomorrow. We do new quizzes every day. Sometimes they come out around noon Central Standard Time. But that is not set. But we do try to do one a day. And we have done one a day every day for the last 753 days. The goal for this channel is get to 1,000 trivia quizzes. And we are now just past three quarters of the way there. So stick with us. It should run until about September of this year. Before I don't know what's going to happen after that. I might drop down to one a week or something like that. But... Uh, the goal is to do one a day for a thousand days, and we are on track to get that done. And tomorrow will be no different. We've got a great quiz lined up with a little help from our old pal, Will. I don't want to ruin it. I won't tell you what it is yet, but check back tomorrow for another good one. Here is question 21, the tiebreaker. What 1997 movie starring Brad Pitt, is about Heinrich Harrer, an Austrian climber who is employed as an instructor to the 14th Dalai Lama. The title of that movie is Seven Years in Tibet. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.